The ability to export your content calendar, individual posts, and social media data is one of the most powerful features Loomly provides for offline collaboration. To provide you with maximum flexibility in how you like to work, here's all the ways you can export content and data from Loomly. If you have clients or stakeholders who are not in Loomly, you can export the calendar view and the list view so that they can review all upcoming content quickly. If you need to showcase how each post will look per channel, export the post view. If you'd like to track your data in a spreadsheet or are working on a presentation, export your analytics as either a PDF or a CSV Excel file. We also recently updated your ability to track campaign performance and content type with labels included in all exports, such as analytics and the post view. Here's how to export your content. In the calendar view, click the down arrow icon in the top right corner. All draft, published, and scheduled posts will be included in the export. You can also choose to filter your calendar by status so that only posts that are scheduled or published display in the export. Once you're ready, select the date range and click export. Here's how the PDF looks. This is a great way to show any clients who don't have access to Loomly the posts that you've prepared for them or to use as a presentation. You'll be able to see the status of posts, labels, and the selected social media channels. You can also click on the subject to be taken directly to the post in Loomly. The list view makes it even easier for clients and managers to review content and copy. Similar to the calendar view, click the down arrow icon, choose your desired date range, and then click export. If you fine tuned your copy, you'll be able to see all the variations per channel. You can also view the generic attached media and jot down any notes you have in the notes column. Similar to the calendar view, if you need to take any action, simply click on the subject line and you'll be taken to the post in Loomly. If you'd like to send an individual post to a client or someone on your team who isn't a Loomly collaborator, you can export the post view. To navigate to the post view, click on the post from your calendar or list view. Then select the down arrow and click export. In your exported PDF, you'll see the post previewed for each of the social media channels selected. Labels will be visible at the top of the page under the subject. This is a great way to show your approvers how you're categorizing content and which campaign this post belongs to. Every team likes to monitor analytics differently, whether it's keeping it visual in the dashboard using a PDF or in a spreadsheet as part of a wider tracking initiative. We've got you covered with all three options. Before we head to export though, first you'll need to filter your date range to whatever time frame you'd like to showcase. After you're done, click on the down arrow and choose export analytics. From here, you can select the different social media channels that you want to export as well as opt for a PDF or an Excel file, also known as a CSV file. Then export the data. If you prefer to share your analytics visually, such as adding them to a presentation, here's how the exported analytics PDF looks. You'll be able to see the performance of each of the different social media channels. If you're tracking all of your metrics in a spreadsheet, here's how an exported Excel slash CSV file looks in Google Sheets. You'll be able to review data from our link shortener and tracker, as well as see an overview of each account and deep dive into individual posts. If you have any questions about exporting content or data, please check out our FAQ. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more.